Good morning, everybody. This is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I went to Joanne's uh, last week. No, well, it's still this week. Um, and I bought the only two of these honking big Posca black pens that they had in there at the time. They are 24s, which is 15 millimeters in size. I've been watching... Um, Bear, uh, oh, what's his name? Drew, is it Steinbacher? Steinbecker? I can't remember his last name. Anyway, so I decided I was going to try this because I've never done anything with big markers like that. Here is my first pull. How cool is this? I was very surprised. I could see that the paint wasn't quite dry, the Posca, because that's what these little white specks are. And if you look back here, there's dried black Posca on it. This is my roll-off, which I thought was just as cool as that. <laughs> All right, so this video, I'm just going to do some pulls. Nothing, you know, brain... It, it's not going to be hard, let's put it that way. So I'm just going to play with this, and I'll come back a little bit.
Okay, so I'm going to go over the, the stuff that I just <clears throat> did. And I'm going to start with the stuff that didn't work first because I think I figured out why. All right, so the first one that was a total disaster was this one, where it completely ripped the paper. I mean, it ripped the paper. Uh, maybe it goes this way. Anyway, so this one I will probably use like here and, you know, cut this off and use the rest of it, which will be fine. So that's disaster number one. Disaster number two kind of looks the same way. It left a lot of paper back on the jelly plate. There's another one that was not fabulous. I don't know how much of this I can use, but we'll give it a shot. I might get jelly plate on the uh, jelly on the other side. And then this one, you know, it couldn't be on the side here. It's got to be smack dab in the middle. <laughs> Darn it. Okay. Actually, I think my roll off sheet went much better. <laughs> All right. So here are the ones that I finished that I are, I really like. And I think the problem is, is that because of where I live, it's very dry here right now. And there's a ceiling fan going above me because it's also hot. And I think that causes the paint to dry up way faster than I anticipated it would. And that's why it's stuck. All right, here's one of the first ones I did. I love this. And I'm going to scan this one and keep it. This one I thought went okay. This one was wonderful. I really love this one. This was the first one I tried. And I could see that what happens is these little white dots are because the Posca pin had not dried all the way before I did anything to it. And I rolled the blue paint over it. And when I pulled, there were pockets of wet paint still on the plate and it left behind like little teeny circles. So that's what the white is, but I'm okay with that one. Again, something didn't dry all the way and I have the little white dots on there. But I really like this. I think it looks cool. And I like this one, but I might change it up a little bit. And it feels very dry. I mean, like, brittle dry. So I think it's my ceiling fan and the air conditioning that's causing the paint to dry out so much faster than I thought it would. Um, this is called Mango, Apple Barrel Mango. Um, I would like to do the Black Magic Marker over it again. I don't know. We'll see. This one had, yeah, see, there's paint that didn't dry right there, that blob. This is where it stuck to the thing, and there's another blob. So, you know, it's not a, it's not a perfect thing. Imperfection kind of gives it character. And this one I just did to see what would happen. Without the Posca marker on it, it did okay, but I can feel that, that it picked up bits of paper, and I can scratch them off because they're like the leftover paper from another print. There, look, look at that, it's coming off. So you have to clean the plate up. First I thought it was the uh, Germax, but it wasn't because I did it with water and cleaned it off, did the same thing. This was just to see what would happen. Again, picking up what was left over, and I think it was from this one here because I see kind of the same shapes. I don't remember the order I did these in. This one, I don't know why this one turned out. But it did, and I'm happy it did. Looks really nice on the camera. Then this one, you can't, you can hardly see the black Posca. That's a, that's a ghost print from this one. Whoops, I got two in there. That's a ghost print from this one. This is the original print, and then this is the ghost, that, ghost print. So I, I like this one, but I think I'm going to have to either correct this one or a jelly plate over it, or a jelly plate on the back side. This is a knitting pattern that is in German. <laughs> I printed off the German parts instead of the English. I know Sprechen Sie Deutsch. Um, and then this is, again, another ghost print. Because, see, it's got the squiggles on it. So it must have been, because I see some green in it, it must have been this way. And then there's this one. And it you know, left paper on the jelly plate. So that's it. I just wanted to play with the marker and see how it goes. I really like the effect, but I have to figure out how to keep my paper. The thing is, is that when you live in a climate like this, 
like Arizona and places like that, you have to figure out how quick you got to do stuff. And sometimes that ruins your prints because you're not fast enough and then it paper sticks to it. So I'm going to have to go get some baby oil and I'm going to condition my jelly plate. Maybe that will help it. I don't know. But I'll do anything to make my prints better. I mean, I, I'm not disappointed with, with them. I really like this one. <laughs> Um, but I just, and I, maybe this one's my favorite. I don't know. Well, actually, one of my favorite ones is one that got torn up. This, uh, not this one. Yeah, this one. I would have loved for this one to have turned out because I really like the way with the three colors. Yeah. So much for that. Well, I will try to salvage these. Might just jelly print right over the German uh, cat pattern. <laughs> All right, guys, this is it for me for this week. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.